Located in the Black Hills of Yavapai County, Arizona, Jerome is a historic town with roots dating back to the late 19th century. Positioned on Cleopatra Hill, which offers stunning views of the Verde Valley, Jerome sits at an elevation exceeding 5,000 feet above sea level and can be reached by a very narrow access road. Situated approximately 100 miles north of Phoenix, along State Route 89, between Sedona and Prescott, this town was founded in 1876 and was a bustling hub in the 1920s, boasting a population of over 10,000 residents, thanks to the prosperity brought by lucrative copper mines. At one time, it was considered as the fourth largest city in Arizona. Today, it sits on sliding and unstable ground, and most of its houses cannot be purchased through mortgage because banks will simply refuse to finance them due to high risk of collapsing. The town experienced significant growth due to the mining industry when substantial copper deposits were discovered in the area. The following mining boom played a pivotal role in Jerome's development. In the late 19th century, prospectors and miners flocked to Jerome to capitalize on the lucrative copper reserves found in the nearby mountains. The United Verde Copper Company, founded in 1883, played a central role in the town's growth by establishing mining operations. As copper mining operations expanded, the population of Jerome surged as more workers and their families settled in the area to seek employment opportunities. The town quickly transformed from a small mining camp into a busy community as mining activities intensified. The demand for copper, particularly during the economic boom of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, contributed to the prosperity of Jerome. The growth of the mining industry led to the establishment of businesses, infrastructure, and residential areas to accommodate the expanding population. Jerome's peak growth occurred during World War I, when the demand for copper skyrocketed due to its importance in wartime industries. However, as with many mining towns, Jerome faced economic challenges during periods of fluctuating copper prices and the subsequent economic downturns, such as the Great Depression. In 1917, Jerome gained attention due to labor unrest involving the industrial workers of the World Labor Union. About 60 members were forcefully expelled, loaded onto a cattle car, and sent west. The mining industry in Jerome experienced fluctuations, declining afterward, rising again, and then falling during and after the Great Depression. As ore deposits depleted, the mines permanently closed in 1953, leading to a population decrease to fewer than 100 residents. Jerome's designation as a ghost town comes from the devastating fires and violent incidents that marked its early history. Numerous tales of apparitions and specters wandering through the town's historic structures and neighborhoods have emerged over the years. Visitors can delve into these eerie stories through evening ghost tours and spirit walks, exploring haunted sites such as the local hotels, houses, hospital, and high school, where former residents are believed to linger. The most haunted building in Jerome is the local hospital where about 9,000 people died oftentimes due to mining accidents, others over alcohol and shootouts. Despite facing economic hardships and labor unrest, Jerome managed to survive by diversifying its economy. After the closure of the mines in 1953, the town turned to tourism and retail sales to sustain its existence. In 1950s and 60s, Jerome was an actual ghost town with very few people residing until the residents came up with an idea of converting it into a tourist attraction and started marketing it. Due to lots of mining activity in the past, today the town is sliding down the hill almost one inch per year. 
the sliding jail in downtown is a great visual example. The sliding jail is a unique historical landmark with an intriguing story. Built in 1903, the jail was initially perched on the side of a hill. However, in the 1930s, specifically in 1938, a series of events drastically changed its location and function. Dynamite explosions, set off by copper miners, caused the ground beneath the jail to shift dramatically. This movement resulted in the jail sliding off its foundation and moving a considerable distance, approximately 225 feet, into the middle of one of the town's main streets. Due to the earth movements from the many mining shafts in the area, the jail was rendered unusable. However, it was not completely destroyed by these movements. In 2017, the Jerome Historical Society acquired the sliding jail and began efforts to rehabilitate it. Part of this process included stabilizing the structure with retaining walls to prevent further collapse. Experts estimate that there are 88 miles of mining tunnels in Jerome area, which makes the ground very unstable and dangerous. The town has its own police and fire departments with three policemen. Crime is mostly negligent in this town, with majority of incidents happening on Friday nights due to alcohol consumption. Today, Jerome's population is about 450 residents. Despite the small population, the town has transformed into a unique destination, renowned for its tourist attractions with over 1.5 million people visiting every year. The town boasts art galleries, coffee houses, restaurants, a state park, and a local museum focused on mining history. The tourism business here is very seasonal, with spring and fall being the busiest seasons. The town has adapted and evolved over the years from its mining roots. However, its population is not growing due to lack of job opportunities. Most of the houses cannot be purchased through mortgage due to unstable ground and hollow mountains that pose as a high risk. The unique history, coupled with efforts to preserve its heritage, eventually led to Jerome being designated as a National Historic Landmark in 1967. Keep in mind that Jerome is a small town, so a day trip is generally sufficient to explore its main attractions. Additionally, the winding roads leading to Jerome can be part of the adventure, but they may not be suitable for everyone, so plan accordingly. Whether you're interested in history, art, or simply enjoying a picturesque setting, Jerome has something to offer for a memorable day trip.